Wolf by Joel Cranmore. So, my name is John. I'm different from everyone else, though, because I have a power that no one else does. I can turn from human to wolf. I'm mostly normal other than the fact that I can be both wolf and human. I have a family, a mom, dad, and brother. But they don't have any clue that I can turn human to wolf. One weird thing is I'm just as hungry as a wolf when I am a wolf. So when I'm turning to a wolf and get hungry, I have to eat meat. But there is a problem, because all the animals in the woods have already been shot by my brother or I've eaten. So now I've been going to our city and eating the people. I've been sighted a couple times, and last night my brother was hunting, and I ran past him from human to wolf. I had no clue. He said nothing to me at all. But tonight, tonight I'm really hungry. I don't have enough energy to get to the city in time. I have two choices. Either I go to the woods and I kill a deer, or go home and eat my dog, Timmy. I can't eat the dog. My parents got me and Frederick, my brother. So I set off to the woods to find something to eat after what feels like forever. I hear some. It's a doe, but it runs. I have no energy to chase it, so I can't. At this point, I feel like I'm going to die, but, but then I hear a fawn. The doe left her baby finally. Something, it doesn't even move. A meal has never been so free and quiet. I get to enjoy it now. Next day, I'm just walking around in the woods in my human body. Then I see Freddy and Timmy walking to the river. And all of a sudden, I feel so hungry. Timmy's right there, but, but so is Freddy, and of course he has that gun that he takes everywhere. I think he sleeps with it. At this point, I'm too hungry not to go for him. Here I go. For the kill, uh, I'll get in this bush and then Timmy hears me and starts going crazy and Freddy says, hello? I stay quiet. Then Timmy takes one more step closer and I lunge at him and I have him in my mouth. But, but Freddy shoots me right in the butt, but it does nothing harmful because the bullet's too small. So that I get away this time and I get to eat my dog. And after a good but, but bad feeling meal, I... Uh, Got a good sleep and woke up feeling like going and exploring. I was walking through the woods and saw a couple of deer, but nothing amazing though, so I decided to lay low. By the time I was hungry, the deer had all moved to my parents' woods. I would have to get one and or go far to the city or just get really lucky. So I decided to go on my parents' land and it looked like no one was hunting at the time. So I made my move on the deer. I got its leg. I knew it would come back for the baby after waiting for a good hour or two. I seen something in the distance. It was the deer. I would need to get close soon because my energy is very low. So I'm back on my parents' land. I decide to make a move. I got it right in my mouth as I'm eating and dragging it. I, I hear something. But at that time, I think nothing of it. I'm going to have to walk past the deer stand. I'm walking pretty fast, but I hear it again. Wait. Was that a gun loading? I turn and look up and BOOM! Ah! Shit! I've been shot by my brother, but... but this time I'm down and I... I can't get up. I see him coming fast. I close my eyes. And I wake up. I'm in my brother's arms. I feel really sick. So I start throwing up fur. And look at my body and look at my body and I'm human. I tried to go wolf, but I just puke again. I I see the house and I had to get out of here, but I, but I'm so weak I can't. I hear my parents scream with shock and happiness. They all hug me at once. I I don't know how to feel, but I just lay down in my bed that looks the same as it did when I left. When I wake up next, I feel human again. And after that, my life goes back to normal. We all live happily ever after.